I'm Barney Wright and I'm editor of Total Sea Fishing and I'm here today on a, uh, Kent Beach with Terry Carroll from Ziplex where he's going to show you how to execute perfectly the Brighton cast. So Terry, tell me about the Brighton cast and why it's so effective. Basically it's a very short overhead power cast. Um, it was originally developed for fishing on the pier at Brighton where you've got very little room to actually, you can't use a pendulum of any description. You have to use a powerful cast that takes up as little room as possible. No arc, just lots of power. Basically an overhead thump with some technical points that are very important. Um, I think on the beach the big advantage it's got is where the lead is actually tucked in under the rod. You still get a, a, a fair drop even though you're up against a fairly sheep, steep shelving beach. Um, Dungeness Point is the ideal place. Uh, you get the same sort of drop as you would have if you were using say five or six foot drop mm -hmm. but because the angle of the lead is back, tucked back towards you you can keep the rod tip down low. Mm. That maximizes the arc and that is one of its most important points. So it sounds like an ideal uh, casting style for match fishermen because you presumably there's not going to be leads flying everywhere it's straight over your head. No, I mean under certain conditions the pendulum is going to outcast it by miles but there are certain conditions where you're restricted you've got members of the public wandering around at night. The Brighton style will cast just as far at night as during the day because the positioning is locked into the rod i.e. The position of the lead is on the ground, so there's no unknown factors. You don't know, you don't need to know what the clearance is because the lead is not going to hit the ground. Um, yeah, I mean, match fishing under certain conditions would it would be ideal. Close call. When you've got like people only five, ten meters apart, it'd be well, a much easier way of getting knowing, your bait out. Knowing a few pendulum casts is essential. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, what we do is uh, we'll have you casting a plain lead first of all. Yep. Uh, at least a couple of times and then we'll have you casting this, uh, if you swing it over to me please Terry, this wonderful, it's getting away from us, hockey ball, which is actually built by Roger Mortimer of DHP, David Hall Publishers, and uh, it proves to be very effective, you can see it throughout the entire cast and instead of just the lead vanishing off and not knowing what's happening, you'll be able to see every, all the positioning the position that leads out when Terry's casting it and, yeah. and so you really be able to get a good indication of the movements. You think that weighs about 170 don't you? It's about 175 yeah. grams. Oh. Fine. Okay let's get down to the shore and okay. one. one thing that is important about this style is thummy. Must have a thummy or you won't hold the reel. Right Feet position roughly a shoulder stance apart, rod, lead goes away, comes back to the ground, drops under the rod, right arm fairly straight, left arm shoulder high, from that position you go back and then hit. So lead goes away, comes back under the rod between you and the rod tip. Rod tip down low, about 10 inches off the ground. From there, you hit. Okay, do that again. Swing away, lead to the ground. Rod tip about 10 inches. Left arm, shoulder height, right arm fairly straight. You go back and hit. One movement, one hit. So, Get the feet position. This is important. The lead goes away gently back to the ground. Rod tip is low as about 10 inches and then that's when you go back and that's when the car starts. So it's to the ground, back and hit it. <coughs> right, four foot drop, away, back to the ground, drop and hit it. You hit it from that position. That's as you go back. So actually dropping back, it keeps the leader tight and it actually initiates the cast. So let's do that. So way, back, down, back, and away it goes.
Well, Terry, thank you very much for that indeed. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed watching you cast. And I do appreciate you taking the time out to, to come and spend it with us here on the beach. Well, I hope it's useful. Um, it's the first time, really, I've done it uh, under that sort of situation where you've got it covered by all the cameras. And I think it, uh, it should show that what looks quite simple is actually worth doing and if you do it properly. And I think it can achieve top results, no doubt. Well, I'm sure we get a lot of people viewing this and hopefully a lot of people will understand that cast at last. Good. Well, that's, Thank uh, you very much, that's what it's all about. Thanks.